<laughs> All good. You know what? I, Windows did what it said, at least. It is an it, operating system of its word. It did promise me exactly the experience. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Special stream. Yeah. What are we memorializing again? Is it uh, World, War, World War One? Uh, you know, that sounds right. Aren't we, aren't we just remembering the troops? All of them? Oh, is it all just the, it's just God bless our troops? God, God bless our, I think that's, that's what I assume it is. <laughs> Memorial Day. Wow, we are just awful Americans. Yeah, what, what, what's, but what's the actual um, historical occasion? Civil War? Ooh. That was a pretty good war, uh, amongst all, 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 all motivation, you know, amongst, you know, pretext for war. You know. See, I'm always worried with American holidays that it's actually like, it's celebrating the other side or something. Oh. Like you never fucking know with us. <laughs> uh, are, so we're like low key celebrating Robert E. Lee. Is that what you're saying? You know, I grew up on Robert E. Lee Boulevard, right? I did not know that. <laughs> Yeah, there. It took him until 2021 to rename the street to like Aretha Franklin Way in New Orleans. Got it. Yeah. Uh, dark, dark shit. So many streets named after Confederate generals. I was just reading the other day that um, I think there's a town in California somewhere, like a gold rush town that has Jim Crow Boulevard or something like that. And the locals like oh. are refusing to rename it. Oh, Ouch. Out of presumed resentment towards woke culture. Uh, it's, it's heritage, not history is there something or history, not heritage. I don't, I don't remember what bullshit thing they made up because both directions you say that sentence are bullshit. <laughs> heritage, not hate. Uh, uh, heritage is not history. Yeah. But like, isn't it a heritage of hatred? Like, I don't trust... If you're, if you're flying the bars and stars, you're doing a real bad job. Yeah. Yeah. There's no, there's no like positive read of that. And yet they keep trying. But anyway, it's a day off. That's the nice thing about Moral Day. Yeah, it is true. We get it off. And I think when we were growing up, we were getting Columbus Day off, right? Is that what changed? You're totally right. Um, I don't think we get it off anymore. No. And it is oh, also we get yeah. we get MLK Day off now instead of Columbus Day, right? I don't think it was a trade. I think we just okay. lost it. Columbus Day. Wow, thanks a lot, capitalism. Yeah, you couldn't even put a better day there. Uh, they call it Native Native People's Day sometimes, right? Yeah, but you don't get school off for Native People's Day. <laughs> it's true because we don't really care about them. Yeah, but you do get school off for Columbus. Oh, that's messed up. They should rename it to, 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 to like Genocide of the Indigenous Peoples of America Day. Yeah, they should. Yeah. And then some people who are like into that can celebrate it in their own way. Well, well as I you mean, know. I've I've just seen people still upset about Columbus Day, which like, it's like, come on. Yeah, Indigenous Peoples Day, is what it's called. Um, which is great. Should should be celebrated more. Uh, Flor Florida actually made the move. Florida's surprising. Apparently that's that's where all the Silicon Valley assholes are going. Is is uh, is Florida now? Yeah, Miami, Miami's the big big spot to go to. I had someone legit pitching moving to Miami too, and I was like, oh why? And like their only answer was because of crypto, and I was like, no 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 no. Wait, tell tell me about this. What what is it about crypto in Miami? I I I don't I don't quite know, but like, are we checking out Twitch? Well, I, I'm going to Twitch because I want to open our chat. But please do continue. Oh, oh, so you can see it. Ah, yeah, yeah. Uh, cool. So I, we can all see it. I oh, I got it. I got it over here. You, oh, you got it online. Oh, never mind. I don't yeah, care. Yeah, from from the Windows setup, I got like a nice. I got a chat box fade in, fade out. We're 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 good over here. We're it's, living in the future. It's fancy time. Well, I can't see the chat over here, but you know what? Who cares about what I can see and can't see? I'll I'll read it out to you. I'm I, I got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, no, the only the only thing I know about Miami is that our boy, our boy, our boy. Keith, Keith, her boy. Oh yes, has been going on at Bond about how it's like the place to do tech now, where they're going to start like a crypto utopia. Keith, Keith, her boy, our boy. Yeah. Uh, yes, he very much. Um, first of all, is probably making out like a bandit from the XL. Like everything we talk about, like how we make our little pit, like, like sort of like consolation prize, mm -hmm. like equity share, denominated in XLM. Um, he's he's getting big bucks, so maybe I he's behind it all, right? Like maybe maybe it's just really his share and chain stock that he's just trying to boost, and then once it's done, the market will crash and the Ponzi scheme will kind of fold on onto itself. I mean, yeah, why not, right? That seems yeah. as good as any explanation. 
Might, might as well, right? Just go all in. Yeah. But yeah, he's I think he's the original Miami booster, but you know, he's kind of like the thought leader for all the rest of the morons and so. I think it's yeah, I think it's just trickled down into like anyone I know who's like crypto adjacent is now just like, "Oh, Miami's the new hotness." And I'm like, "For what?" <laughs> Okay, well, it, it is worth saying that, like, there are reasons why you don't really want to live in the Bay Area anymore. Oh, Not yeah. just you specifically, but one. But they're, you know. they're the reasons that I never wanted to live in the Bay Area. Like, <laughs> it's, it's expensive and, <laughs> yeah. uh, like, has terrible transit and the taxes are super high. I'm just like, okay, yeah, they're all California problems. It's fine. Yeah. And, and so, you know, to be fair, like, I think, I think probably, probably Miami has a lot to recommend it. You know, mm-hmm. the, the weather's nice. I, I don't. What are, what are the what are the state tax, state income taxes in Florida? Is there zero? Is it zero? Oh, uh, if so, that's probably. I mean, that's true in Texas, right? No, six percent. Tax. Okay, a tolerable six percent. Six percent of your stellar lumens windfall. Oh, wait, not that's too bad. That's sales tax, though. There's no personal. Oh, that's income sales tax. tax. No. Oh, never mind. Yeah, the very the very first okay, line there is you the go. That's shot. what they're. Yeah. At. That's what they're. That's what they're. At. And six percent for sales tax is low. That's nothing. Yeah, I grew up with. It's like half of what it is in the Bay Area, right? Yeah, yeah, I mean, I, nothing, nothing could possibly go wrong by moving to an unregulated, to like trying to seek out more deregulation and shady monetary uh, ventures. Yeah, <laughs> like bless them all. Uh, may the Ponzi scheme crash upon their heads like waves from a they hurricane do do on the like, Miami beach. They do you do the the, the 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 cafe cubano there. You know, it's like the, you know, I, th- now, I think it's now the condensed, Cubano condensed, is... condensed milk in, in, in an espresso, right? Something like that. Oh, a cafe Cubano. I was just thinking about how great the sandwich is. Oh, what what does a vegetarian do with a Cuban sandwich? Uh, I've had a Cubano made with um, just like tofurkey, like slice, like, like veggie deli slices, which like so good. There are lots of good okay it's a Cuban jackfruit sandwich. Yeah. I mean, I, I like I like my cheese. You got to get some pressed cheese in there. I think the vegan. I don't know mm, about that. The cashew cheese a little lumpy, yeah. clumpy. Yeah, and and the Cubano, like the melted cheese, is a big part of a Cubano. The in vegan, my mind. vegan, it's a vegetarian, not vegan. Yeah, try is, try the is, ve- is the, the middle one. I see like Epicurean Swiss slices Ava. in there. I feel like it's the- okay. Yeah, this looks pretty. Oh, and they even went with just like straight up mushroom. Yeah, I think. I mean, for me, I think the Cubano is a pickle cheese, a fried pickle cheese sandwich with like a nice savory thing in the middle. Yeah, and it's good. The the sort of classical Cubano uh, with you know animals in it will have two types of pork, which I always thought was like a very interesting and idiosyncratic combination. You'll have roast pork mm-hmm. and ham, right? I, I mean, this is. A Cubano is basically a fried muffaletta, which also does the same thing. Are you familiar with the muffaletta? My 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 impression of a muffaletta is it has like essentially bologna in it, right? Um, but or, it's but it's like multiple kinds of of deli meats. It's mortadella, like a, I think I believe is the, the yeah, fancy term. Yeah, yes. yeah. Um, um, mortadella salami. But this this to me strikes me as like kind of the Italian cold cut combo. All three of them. I mean. Look, I've never I've never eaten meat in my life, so I actually don't understand why that's different than two types of pork. <laughs> if you get kind of like the Italian like combo sandwich, it usually has like three different <clears throat> types of s- sausage slice meat. Okay. You know? Okay. The salamis and the hot co- hot copas and all that stuff. Um, but like a roast pork, usually when you have like a roasted meat sandwich, that's just like your main affair. But okay. they decide to not only stick a different meat in there, but a, a different meat from the same animal. So it's... Well, so I, I was going to say, it's, uh, it's a, the muffaletta is a pickle layer with the olive salad. It's okay, like a, yes. a cheese layer and a, and a multiple meat layer. But the cubano, cubano is also okay. fried. Yeah. That, that's, muffaletta reminds me of like the Italian version of a pan bagnat, uh, which is a, a French thing where you basically take a giant circular rustic loaf uh-huh. and fill it with salad niçoise mm. which also has like a ton of the isn't that like olive, tu- olives in it and yeah, that's like tuna it's, it's tuna eggs, yeah. yeah tuna eggs and i believe uh what do you call what do you call the uh the french skinny string beans i don't know legumes no mm. uh mm, there's a word for the, that the name immediately escapes me you can get them at trader joe's in the plastic bag french skinny string beans Harry Cover. Yes. 
God damn it. Which I'm pretty sure just means green beans. <laughs> Take my take my Harry Covert over to the ATM machine and yeah, uh, yeah. French, French is a uh, is an unusual language. <laughs> let's say their word for vegetables is legume, right? All uh, vegetables are legumes. In, uh, yeah, yeah, that that is correct. Yeah, but that is also also true in, in Spanish as well. Legumbres, I think. Yeah, I mean, per- perhaps we're the weird ones. Okay. Yeah, that's, yeah that's, we are the weird ones. That sandwich just looks really good. I just want to. Yeah, eat that. I think you hit the nail on the head, though. It's it's like you you want the melted cheese, you want the pickle and the mustard, mm-hmm. right? The tanginess is mm-hmm. pretty key. Yeah. Don't know about the bell peppers as much. I think that might be. That's, uh, a, that's a weird choice. That's, yeah. a, that's a lateral move there. Bell peppers tend to to dominate the flavor profile. Yeah, and I and like I like the veggie tofurkey cold cut things. Like, I just I want some cheery protein in the middle. That's all you need. Yeah. I mean, th- there's a whole there's a whole like subculture of like the uh you go to the sort of chinese factory in chinatown oakland and get like the get all the different kinds of like vegetarian cold cuts Ooh, uh, they're wait. all great tell tell me more about that i want can i do that yeah oh yeah um there's I, I actually haven't run into it quite as much in the east bay but in san francisco there's like a ton of delis that do like the vegetarian deli sandwich hmm Right. I'm gonna have to try that. I'm gonna. I will look for that. Um, I forget the one in. There's one in Lower Hate. Love and Hate. Love and Hate. I'm hearing. Lo- love and Hate. Love and Hate. Deli. The smoked duck. The veggie smoked duck is the one that uh, I always like to get. God damn. Oh my god, it's closed. This no! is fucking tragic. Wow. Maybe there's maybe there's more than one. Okay. Yeah. There's also one by. Um, uh, Dolores Park as well. Uh, it's not the same brand, but the, it's sort of the same idea of a okay. deli that does all these kind of veggie sandwiches. Uh, yeah, it, it, I can't quite make out the menu that's here. That's totally illegible. Thanks, y'all. <laughs> uh, it's because my window is too small. So the meat options, I'm reading veggie veggie meatball, veggie uh, chicken. I do, love, steak, I do love all that shit. Yeah. Veggie barbecue steak, veggie something something. Anyways, Damn, if pan- I had better eyes, this would be more exciting. The pandemic has taken this from me, and I'm sad because I didn't even know it was there. Yeah, but the the factory that makes them all are all in Chinatown. You just go and get them frozen. Oh, no, There's a couple of those items that are available at uh, the Butcher's Son mm. on University. That makes sense. I always wondered where the very strange proteins came from. It, it, it's for, is it for Buddhism? It's for Buddhists, yeah. Yeah, that's uh, awesome. I love the it. The Chinese... Uh, as they are with everything, are, 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 are total innovators at, uh, I guess you could call you could call all that mock meat or, or shanzai meat or something like that. Is it's that the word for shanzai? No, well, shanzai is what you call the electronics that they rip off, right? Like ah. The whole shanzai market uh, is <laughs> like when they make Im- imitation electronics. That's funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah. greatest is like back when DVDs were a thing. Do you remember DVDs? <laughs> oh, I mean... Just a little bit. Just I think, I, think bit. I still have one. Dust and gathering dust in the closet. Yeah. Well, the DVD, the, like the DVD, like the the fake DVD publishing industry in China is just phenomenal. Oh, like they, they yeah. make like I had like a full on uh, Coen Brothers box set. It was awesome. It had like the entire Coen Brothers anthology, like all of their movies, and it was like really nicely packed. I remember getting a couple really nice. I don't even remember what it was, but like. Oh, it was it was the Van Helsing anime that I really wanted and couldn't find on DVD, but I got like a very very nice copy for five bucks on the street in Chinatown, New York, and I was like, I was like, I don't think this is legit, but it plays perfectly, so <laughs> sure, sure, yeah, um, uh, yeah. That's funny. I, I think from my from my early to mid twenties, I think most of my entertainment was pirated in some some form or another. Oh, absolutely. And, you know, certainly, this is like the pre pre Netflix dominance days. I, I feel like the heyday of like watching film was mail in Netflix with the DVD, DVD oh, service because so the selection was incredible. But that's also the time where like BitTorrent was really really popular, and you could get all kinds of movies on BitTorrent as well. Mm-hmm. That to me was like peak. I want to go and watch, you know. The American Film Society's top 100 films of all time. You know, like you could just you could just go go down the list. It's it's so frustrating to me that like sometimes I want to watch a movie and it just doesn't exist. Like it's gone. If iTunes won't rent it to me and Amazon won't rent it to me, I have to like. 
and and the dvd is like now a hundred dollars because that's the only one left and i'm like yeah. gosh like why are we doing this well, I, you know, it's an open question of like how you watch foreign film these days, right? Because it's just like the streaming services aren't going to carry a lot of mm-hmm. those things, right? No, I mean, I like like so many other, uh, uh, you know, discerning consumers. I totally have a VPN account for using torrents because that's I'll pay that yearly price to be able to download things safely. <laughs> All right. Well, in theory. You should theoretically teach me how to do that. Yeah, sure. Because I, uh, in theory. In theory, yeah, yeah. I in theory, you. not not in pra- In theory, we're talking about theory here. Just. I, mean, I, I have uh, another theory. I have is get Sonic because they don't report to the RAA or MPAA. They I, in practice, have, have Sonic. Perfect. Fiber, so yeah, because yes. they're they're great, and now I can I can give you some more theory on top of that. <laughs> okay. Yes, but I just want another theory. Yeah. It's for for educational purposes. For, yeah. Exactly. Gosh, that that for research that that excuse has been used for such dark things. Oh yeah, yeah. I re- I remember like uh, Pete Townsend, mm-hmm. in- inventor of the Townsend power cord. You know. Oh yeah. Um, he got nailed for for having child pornography on his computer. Yikes! Um, and and his excuse was that he was doing research. That's not a good excuse, Pete. No, it's not a good excuse. Yep. Sorry, Pete. Damn, Pete Townsend? I didn't know that. Yeah, say it ain't so, Pete. That's a real bummer. Yeah. Here's kind of my backpack. Fuck. Well, kill your heroes. That too. Okay. Yeah, they're dead. <laughs> they're all. They're. They're. They're all. They're all rich home landowners and rentiers now. So we should right, 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 rightfully kill them and seize seize their means of oh, production. Oh God, I'm joining the landowner class. So don't don't kill don't kill them all. You're not a rentier though, right? Oh no, I will never. I would never collect rent i can't what if you had a second home though then you're like geez the hoa and mortgage payments on this i you know i've Mm -hmm. often i've wondered or like i don't know i'd maybe start a co-op or something okay got it yeah shared ownership is the way oh were you were you looking at my branch or were you just doing different jps i was not on i was not on a branch Mm -hmm. i just closed that file because it it was unsaved and i was scared fair enough yeah (laughs) that's that's how i that's how i navigate my my computing life I like it. Yeah. Don't need that diff. Delete it forever. Yeah, whatever. I, I, YOLO. I don't need it. <laughs> uh, don't know what it is. Don't need it. Perfect. Sweet. Would you prefer that I continue on the jump point search? Or would no, no, you no, I'm, I'm like us for us to continue? Uh, Let's keep going on the editor stuff. Jump point, editor. Jump point search, uh, I continue to make great progress on. Excellent. Yeah, I, th- okay. I think the algorithm works. I just haven't written enough tests for me to confidently be like, here it is. What you need is like sweet ass visualizations. That's mm-hmm. that's what any pathfinding algorithm requires. Yep. All right. Oh shit. Um, and we're here. And the editor, so far, doesn't do very much. Mm-hmm. So what wh- what do you think of the? I think I sort of pitched it uh, briefly last time, but like one entity per tile for this view. Yeah. Let's talk about that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I guess I guess I'm just trying. I'm trying to think of our, our unit of data change is like if we want to change one tile and do multiplayer and predict rollback yep uh predicting one entity seems a lot easier than predicting the entire 4000 unit grid yeah but i'm not opposed to predicting the whole grid because it is sort of changing the format so i don't know yeah so when we change something in our database Mm -hmm. uh we snapshot it Mm -hmm. and remember the snapshot pretty brutal and let me let me let me put out two things too the every every tile has two properties more more than the map contains at the moment it has the has its like terrain and it has what lives on it yeah okay so one entity per that's totally fine Mm -hmm. i think um it raises the question of how we transfer that into the renderer, right? What is the renderer renderer's representation? Currently, what we do, mm-hmm. uh, watch me fumble around a bit. Yeah, as I figure out exactly where our I think it's actually layer. Uh, I think that's right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So what we do yeah. right now is is a lot, but we build. Um, oh. It, that gets to the other thing I was thinking is that we should be doing instance rendering 
on a single tile size square that we can place across the map. Okay. Yeah. So that mean that that suggests a specific terrain shader for the editor. A terrain shader. Oh, because we need a shader to handle the the instance rendering. Yeah. Yeah. The only instance rendering inter- rendering shader that we have right now is the particle mm-hmm. uh, emitter one, mm-hmm. and that one basically consumes a per particle set of properties. Mm-hmm. <laughs> per particle. <laughs> Parcel of properties. There you go. Portion of properties. Mm. Uh-huh. Um, and then does all the. Uh, yeah. <laughs> this is amazing. Then Ooh, does all of the. Uh, I forgot about that. Sort of matrix math, which we can totally do for. Uh, I just want to say it's stuff. it's amazing that all this that stuff works because our particles are super performant. I love it. It's good, right? I mean, our our game is an amalgamation of many complex things. And yet we're still able to like all keep firing. make yeah. progress. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what, what if we what if we approach it as sort of a uh, what if we had a we have like a what's our basic shader right now like the one that uses vertex color because what if we did an instance vertex color shader because it'd be nice to apply that to the trees actually everything else uses Steve shading or uh, wire solid so is that the solid shader I was thinking solid yeah. Shallow Shader provides monochrome models with vertex normals. We don't even need lighting, do, do we? No. So even the unlit the shader. Unlit shader. Yeah, this is just straight colors, right? Yeah, I think I think we should move to move, be moving to instance rendering for more things. So I agree. I think I think practicing it in the yeah in an entity based thing and not just particles sounds pretty good. Because the, the particles have this own thing where we get to bucket them all in at once uh, in, at a single point, but entities, we haven't like tried collecting the instances from okay. from across the entity list. Yeah. Um, so it's it's going to take us a while to get wherever we want to go. This almost feels like, this almost calls for like render toy at this point, right? Uh, to, to, well, to render toy, how easy will that be to adapt? For this, what I do don't. You, I don't know. It's been such a long time. What since are you thinking for Render Toy? Yeah. Well, I just want to use Render Toy to, to develop the shader. Oh, um, right, for sure. Ah, and to be able to give it, it needs like a third thing, which is like the property bucket, huh? Yeah, yeah but the but yeah, the the inputs into the shader are going to be a little bit different. Uh-huh. I don't remember how we dealt with that because not all these shaders take the same inputs, right? Like, I think they. I think they all take a model. We sort of we sort of generified the model down pretty far. Oh, you're right because we have. Mm-hmm. This might actually be okay. Which like what what if we uh, yeah because um, where do we where shader ts where is our shader com- shader comment oh yes yeah we got all these things this yeah, is great we already did it because a model is just a bunch of these things right I think so. Uh, and yeah, y- yeah, yeah. These are all like you don't have to have all of these right. per model, but yes. you sometimes do. Mm-hmm. Right. Oh god, we're going back to rendering. We we did particles. My head was in the renderer. Then we went to pathfinding, and then we like did a bunch of refactoring, and we did a bunch of like weapon design and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Now we're back to rendering, and I'm just gonna have whiplash today. <laughs> oh, sorry. Well, yeah, do you want, no, do you wanna... I'm gonna I'm gonna fumble around. Okay, I was gonna say, do you want to try to do the entity per? Because we could do this without instance rendering as well. We can just render the plane model or the cube solid. We have like we have models we could render. Instance would be like you know a little icing on top of it. Um. Okay. Well, if we did that way, then we then we would be able to maybe. It's just gonna be slow as hell. Um, maybe we we haven't tried to render four thousand. We haven't tried it. Models yep. yet. So you're just saying let's just do the unlit shader or something yeah. like that. Yeah, because we have that capability today. The unlit shader is what does the terrain. We just hand it. Uh... Well, I mean, honestly, it's the same. It's the same number of triangles. It'll just be four thousand render calls. <laughs> yeah. Right. Um, okay. So in that case, uh, yeah, I mean, it, it's us. Let's let's do the dumb version first because we always polish it up later. <laughs> no, that was weird. Okay. Yeah, how'd that get there? I don't know. <laughs> so we need a model in the editor. Mm-hmm. Does the editor have its own asset database? Probably, right? Uh, maybe. 
I think, all right, th this, I think, may be, should be shared, because we do want to place, like, tanks and turrets and stuff, right? We want to be able to it access. It is true. Yeah. I think models go in the common. I mean, do, do all the assets go into common? Maybe. Yeah, what if we want to do particle shaders? Why not? It's true. Pretty soon everything's going to be in common, and then we're going to re we're going to refactor again. Damn it. That's my that's my prediction. Oh uh, yeah, but like assets, assets and constants feel so. I I think we made okay choices. Okay. Oh shit! Did you just auto fix everything? Old. I did. I, love I don't it. know if it worked or not, but whatever. Render turret's um, still going. Yeah, it's still going. Uh, and... Oh, think... this is GLTF. Yeah, but we have a. Let's see. I thought we had. A what are actually here. are our assets? Are they? They're all GL, GLTF objects. They're all GLTF documents. Documents. Yeah. Okay. Oh, the cube is the cube is wall, of course. Yeah. So and yeah. then. Do we? These don't get converted to anything, right? Um, client assets goes into models, mm -hmm. and these are GLTF documents. So mm -hmm. where does this get used? In the game, we load them, mm -hmm. and so really, um, So I, guess, I think this is okay. Maybe we just have a different source of models that is like, these are the GLTFs, maybe. Hmm. I think. This is a little more accurate. Mm -hmm. Oh, GLTFs. Come on, Jeff. And then this is all right. So I think this is a little bit more honest. Okay. And can't find. Oh, uh, oh it's just deleted. a deleted file. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and now we can have what I will call models, right? Properly. Okay. And should it, these just be? I'm I'm curious. TS files. What, what what goes in the model in your head here? I'm I'm I'm, I'm not quite following that part. Um, well, basically, we can make it what the renderer expects. Like we actually have some examples of this in the renderer directly. Oh right, because we have done some stuff where we just draw out the points. For debug right? draw. Yeah. yeah, that's fair. Okay. Uh, Oh, this is GLTF parsing library. Mm -hmm. um, but the renderer, is it geometry utils? Is that, yeah. See, I've got these functions in here. Oof. Maybe we could just use the tile model, right? Mm -hmm. Or make another one called the tile model? Yeah, I guess I was thinking, yeah, I was thinking we could make a tile GLTF, which is just going to be a plane. Or yeah, or use this, like your model. We got a bunch of... Stuff. And where does this get loaded? It gets loaded... Uh, these are almost primitives, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So why don't I just make another one that's a single tile, right? Yep. Yeah, so not line tile, just tile. Make tile model. Yep. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, I think because I think I think further down the line, I would like our tiles to be more GLTF-y, so mountains have a little mountain-y... Water can have some some waves on it or something like. I like the idea of being able to transition into actual models for ground tiles as well. Okay, right. I mean, TBD. Who who the hell knows how mountains work? Let us game? refresh our memory on exactly how to do these things. Um... Oh wow. Okay, this it sort of reverse mimics the GLTF format. I love it. I mean, the GLTF gets chomped down into this, yep. basically, right? Yep. Uh, make line grid. Uh, 
the positions of the tile model are going to be uh it's gonna be oriented the face of the face the the normal of the face is gonna be the positive y axis right mm -hmm. which means that i think it's negative zero point five x zero y negative zero point five z and this is the north west corner mm -hmm. right and then if we're going in that direction we want to go to the northeast corner which is 0 0.5 0, 5, mm -hmm. 0 0 negative 0 0.5 mm -hmm. and then we want to go to the southwest corner which is 0 0.5 0 0 0.5 southeast rather uh, southeast yeah southwest yep yeah. and then why don't we just continue from there? 0 0.5. 5, this is southeast. And then continuing... Um, southwest. Did I go the wrong direction? Uh, it's the right-hand rule. I think I went the wrong direction. Northwest. I think it's the wrong direction. Okay. Because you want the, the positive y-axis going this way, so we need to go counterclockwise. I was going clockwise before. Mm. So if we, we can start with the Northwest again. I think right hand rule is never intuitive to me because I'm a lefty. <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean. <laughs> I'm a lefty too. Are you? Uh, That's weird. Okay. I was, I was, I was chatting with a group of like five people the other day and we were like, we're all lefties. Very unlikely. <laughs> um, Southwest. And then 0 0.5, 0, 0 0.5. That southeast. is the southeast. Cool. Sweet. And let's see the indices. Oh, this is an index array. Fuck. So uh, really, uh, I screwed it up. Oh, because you only needed the, yeah. OK, so let's pretend that the south Those are the ones we don't need, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the indices are 0, 1, 2, mm -hmm. 0, 3, Three 1. 1. Mm -hmm. Oh, right, because this was lines before. Yep, 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 yep. Nice. Um, that's the position buffer. Indices. Yeah, I think that's it. Sweet. Um, uh, we, yeah. You should rename this function to make tile model. Everything I'm thinking about is dogs. <laughs> I mean, you're looking you're looking at a tail square on to the left, so I totally get it. <laughs> Has the dog always loaded butt first? Uh, yes, because he's facing he's facing positive so uh, negative z. Yep. 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 <laughs> And our camera is also facing that direction as well. It's it's perfect, is what it is. Yeah, I mean, it's why when we load Manchester, uh, we load the game. Uh, he's facing up, right? Checks out. It does check out indeed. All right, so render toy. Can we test to see if this worked? Render toy main models. Surely we have a list of these things somewhere, right? Is it in the HTML? Yes. Okay, cube. Nice. And so where, where does this show up? Okay, this is where we load all of the things, all the models. So the tile, the, the tile is already loaded, is it not? So is, should this just work? That's the wire, that's the wire solid shader. That's the solid shader. 
Interesting. Uh, uh, this thing is still putting out lines as it's primitive, not triangles. It's draw it's drawing lines. Good uh, call. Yeah. Um where did we state or, the primitive? It must it must have been near the make tile. Okay, I'm gonna go back to this. Yep. Mesh primitive triangles. Boom. Yeah. yeah. That's a tile, all right. Love it. Okay. Cool. And backface culling. Ho ho! We culled the heck out of it. Never ceases to amaze. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, so now we are primed to draw the map. So in our editor, um, gosh, uh, there's a lot we want to do in the editor. Um, what do we do for state? It's basically nothing right now. It's right? Kind of, it's and this maps component is kind of a bullshit component. Yeah. Um, what if I move this into the state DB? Is that offensive? No, I like that. That feels right. Boom. Okay. Um, any config. Mm -hmm. uh, it will have. I guess does it have uh, so a renderable two D. Like it basically has a renderable component, right? Editor conf Where is the game config? Is there a different entity config file? I feel like I'm pretty I'm pretty positive we don't we don't feed any renderable stuff to the state DB, do we? Oh yeah, there we go. Renderable, yeah. It is a string. Ah, uh, but, but is it in the state DB itself? Oh, but we still need it on the config. Never mind. Yeah, yeah of course. Yeah, renderables. We... Oh shit, we do component table those? All right. It's not synchronized per se, but it's it is a component that we care about, mm. right? Mm -hmm. Um cool. So if it's a string, is that just a model? It is, right? I think so, yeah. So we have a transform. Boy, you're gonna be sad where that is. <laughs> Let me close my blinds. Well, I am like in a halo over here. Yeah, so how would we do the transform for level editor stuff? Oh, sorry, much less holy. It's pretty specific to um I mean, the transform could be a 2D transform, or it could be a 3D transform, depending on what we're talking about, mm -hmm. right? It's it's pretty lightweight. I feel good about redefining that. That doesn't that doesn't really bug me. You think about making a shared system, common, yeah. common systems? Let's do it. I'm just gonna move the this one in in there. Is that the? Oh, that's the one we actually use. Okay, cool. It didn't do my imports. Uh -uh. Um, did I save it too quickly? Oh, uh, the game the game wasn't allowed isn't allowed to use common yet. So it did update. Uh, we need to update the games the excellent to use. Yeah. All right, and then I'm going to use a trick that I learned from my good friend Dominic Degrati. Sort that baby. Yep, transform, renderable. Is this just really a model? That's what it really is, right? Mm hmm And these are all question marks, right? Mm hmm Oh, yeah, we're going to have to start over on that one. Um, it has a model. Uh, does it have, like, a, a tile type and an entity type? Or maybe tile is a component that can have like a type and an entity and that sort of stuff. Yeah, tile's tile's a good idea. 
And Tile might actually have the uh, Transform in it. It depends. Like, uh, a lot of the game-oriented component stuff potentially goes out the window with the... with the with the level editor, but I think we do the dumbest thing first and refactor later. Mm. What is editor map? Was this just something we made, invented? It was like, yeah, it was the, Oh, this was just like the 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 we're going to get rid of that basically is what you're it, saying. It should go away. Yeah, we that was the we need to get the map on the screen, but like no longer. Yeah, the the whole map is one entity there, which feels really weird. String And the clone of this is just returning C because it's just a string. And I think there's a clone in there, right? Yeah, totally. Nice. This is gone. And really, that whole thing can go away, right? This whole system. I th yeah, I don't think it's useful anymore. Yeah. Okay. Um, how do we set the color of? So let's just uh, maybe let's start the editor with a bunch of this stuff, mm -hmm. and let's try to render it right. So the editor, client editor is basically yeah. the game. So right? uh, so yeah, and this map is game map. I think we have like a setup loop where we and we were we were creating the editor map entity, but I think now we loop over the map. Hmm. Init systems, this is where we do it. Yeah, there we go. So that's the server will have it too. Um, that seems good. Okay, so what we do here uh, is we, well, let's just make a bunch of stuff, right? Um, And you want to do one more to make it square. Yeah. Only because I feel like we've done a lot of things that count on squareness. Yeah, of course. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep. We are going to create a new entity config and add it, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And transform, I guess, is pretty interesting. We want it to, but yeah, we need to figure out like where this is going to be relative to. Like, wh what should we say the origin is? Do we just want to like? Do it slightly off origin. Let's just say this this one is the origin. Yeah, I feel I feel okay about that. I kind of I've been thinking about 
what the game would look like reoriented around that in general. Though I do like that it's the center of the map right now. Yeah. And what does the transform look like again? It's just an orientation and a position. Position. Yeah. Right? Position. It's a vec2 dot from values, right? Mm -hmm. And then this is orientation, which is just zero. Mm -hmm. Vec2 comes from GL matrix. Oh, no. From values is not getting called. Previous position. Oh, that's required. Hmm. Out what that is, and let's make these two things the same. Mm -hmm. Nice. I'm a little doubtful about the the use utility of previous position. I think only the wall collider uses it. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that's right. If you search the code base, it is just for that. Um, yeah. I. Mm, it's for bouncing someone back, right? Yeah. Okay. And okay, so the position of the tile. It's interesting. It almost feels like the tile should have a position that is not its like raw position in space, and something else should figure out how to like translate the tile, like the grid position, into the world space position. Oh, interesting. Like you want to give the tile a coordinate of like zero its position zero. in the grid. Its grid position. Ah, yeah. that's interesting. How, how does that feel to you? What if we did that? I like that. I think we'll still need transforms for other stuff, but uh, I agree. So, uh, yeah. What if we made let? <coughs> what if we made this the tile component? Because um, it's it's optional. But this can we can have a tile system that updates entity position based on this. Uh, like I think that this grid pause might be usable by other things that we place on the grid. Okay. But I'm not a hundred percent sure yet. Yep. Yep. I like. I'm I'm down to try that. Okay. And actually, this is going to be great, because we're going to move transform right back out of common if we go this route. That doesn't need two lines prettier. Come now. It's because I prettier does try to respect some of the things that you have mm. in there originally. That's because um, you started with two lines. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. OK. Uh, and any config no longer comes from here. And uh, transform. Grid pause singular, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Uh huh. Love it. Cool. Okay, so far so good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, there's no indexing that we need to worry about for now. Nope. Um, client editor. We're not going to have terrain anymore, right? Yep, terrain's gone. Uh, we do need the map. The map. Well, I guess you're kind of tossing the map out, but we're, we we made a fake map. Um, yeah, it's a good point. Which. I, like that. I mean, like, whatever. Honestly, I want to redo our map format, so, like, let's just make that part of this, because I think it's too fat right now. So if... temp map y x mm -hmm. 0, we skip. Right? If it's 0, we don't... Uh, we don't add. I'm just saying it's just empty. We're not uh, We can change color next time. I'm just saying that, like, basically, there's nothing there if there's a zero. Okay. Yeah. You just want to see it show up, and I just want to see it show up. I love it. Yeah. 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 Okay. And then there's a get renderables here, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and then we need to figure out how to like add this uh, 
this is just adding the terrain, right? So what we need to do is like for. So I think in the previous system, we looped over the renderables of the. Um, what do we in, in client game or game client? Do we loop over the renderables? This time we're going to loop over the models of the state. Exactly. Yeah. 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 It's for const id m model of this dot models this dot state db dot models hmm. um and we have to assume that that's there mm -hmm. right and now we translate that right um and we we have we're gonna have some mapping that we're gonna like set in stone, or it's gonna be global, but it doesn't have to be set in stone here. We can change it to whatever we want it to be. Right. Um, but but for right now, I think grid pause zero, grid pause zero either is like the northwest extremum of the entire map, or grid pause zero is the origin. And there are hmm. advantages and disadvantages of each of those. Yeah. Uh... For now, I'm gonna make it uh, just the origin. the origin. I think yeah. that's nice. I I kind of feel like we don't have a great concept of like map dimensions right now. Also, so like, yeah, we like, don't. Like we don't. We couldn't have rectangular maps or like stranger shapes. So, I like mm -hmm. I like origin for playing with this. Okay. So I I think that means that the x the actual x and y position of the renderable is just the X and Y position, the grid pause plus 0 0.5. So it's centered in the middle of the tile. Mm -hmm. So what's in a renderable? We're gonna do unlet, yep. right? Yep. And the unlet object is a name and a model to world. And there's your color, yeah. Okay. I think the inlet object was a type of model and then the inlet mo object model. Was yeah, right? yeah, I was trying to figure out where I mentioned yeah. that. No, I, I just saw it go by, yeah. Renderable inlet, which has the type renderable inlet and then the object, yeah. Type renderable inlet, yeah, okay. What, we just call this res. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Object is this thing. Mm -hmm. uh, model name is model. model. Yep. Color we'll just call. I mean, let's make them, yeah. Make a magenta for now. Yep, the best color. <laughs> no model modifiers. And this matrix, we're just going to have to create every, every single time. Okay. And it is basically from translation, right? Net four to create this vec three we can keep um, around because mm. it's temporary. And pause three, the x component is equal to p dot x plus zero point five. Mm -hmm. The y component is zero, and the z component is yep. That. Mm -hmm. Can we keep the can we keep the mat four around as a constant as well? Uh, the mat four uh, gets passed in, and so if you change that everything, it's like all of these objects that we create here are going to point to the same mat four. Oh. Oh. Um, yeah. Never mind. 
Now, to avoid the allocation every frame, we could put the mat four onto the model. Mm. Just so it's a temporary that we have floating around. Yep. That makes sense. Cool. Yeah. Uh, vec four dot from values. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. So why is there a bunch of BS here? Um, delete all the unused imports. Transforms defined but never used. Come on. I see it oh. trying. Yeah. Mutable. Boom. New map. Ooh. This one is That's just not gone. Yep. yep. Come oh my on. god. There's my there's the editor. I like that you've had it in the background this whole time and just you're like, it's it's working, it's fine. Don't worry, don't worry about it. it. Kinda looks like we made Tetris a little bit, right? Yeah, I like that. Well damn. So okay, so here's um we could use rendering or we could make this clickable, because I feel like if you click a tile, I do want to see entities pop on and off. Is that is that wild? Oh, I guess we're only registry entities if it's zero, or if it's if it's one. So maybe we're not there yet. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Let's do. So we should do. We color want first. we want different colors mm -hmm. as well, right? So mm -hmm. is that we're gonna like have a mapping between the tile type and and, and color? Yeah. And color, right? Mm hmm. Uh, I feel like grid pod should be grid pod's component. Are you are you opposed to kind of like a very tedious name scheme where we like always name the name the type the class, or rename like the parent class in the child type? Not usually. I think there's some places I've seen where I, I think the the client sim and client simulator got a little out of hand, but uh, we went back and fixed that too. So I don't care. <laughs> I think for for this stuff, I, I don't think know. I think component is good. Oh come, fuck me. You know, I say that all the time, and no one else reacts to it. So thanks. Yeah, <laughs> I really, really appreciate that. All, all the all the kind of like '90s Simpsons jokes, I got, I got you. I mean, that's the best one. I really, yeah, I really the like Conan that. Conan Bryan one. ones. Oh, those are pretty good. Yeah. Was he the writer? Is that what was happening? Yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh... Tis no man. Tis a remorseless eating machine. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I just want to see us show up on Twitch, and then I'll be happy. Okay. Come on, Jeff and Tom on Twitch. Am I not following us? I Surely. There we go. Yeah, okay. Hello. Yeah. So so we're back. Yeah, we're back. Oh, jeez. Just Twitch. Okay. Yeah, audio's there too. <sighs> All good. You, you know what? <laughs> uh, Windows did what it said at least. It is an it, operating system of its word. It did promise me exactly the experience. Uh, <laughs> thanks everybody. Windows Windows crashed. We're back. But he, Windows is like Anton Chigurh from like No Country for Old Man. He's just like super straightforward. <laughs> like I will kill you, you know. <laughs> Ooh, that's, oh, that's, that is a good reference, and yeah, exactly that. Uh, all we got are Coen Brothers references here on the stream. <laughs> well, so Windows is a total piece of shit. Uh, probably, so is Mac OS, but like, man, yeah. Windows is bad. Like real, Windows, real bad. Yeah. Uncomparably worse. Uh, maybe I'll edit my registry later to fix this with, with whatever link you sent me. I'm sure. I'm sure it involves <laughs> editing the registry. That's how you fix everything on Windows. Yeah, yeah. Everything is a giant uh, registry file. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, I don't really either. It's like a big tree-shaped database where all the values are zeros or ones or hex hex values, which I guess is oh, computers. Okay. Yeah. Uh, he like move go back to render until you move the thing around. I feel like this is actually coming through pretty okay FPS wise. Is it? Is this the new normal? Are we gonna have to like ditch Windows now? Is I mean, this, it, Windows has severely abused my trust. Yes, um, like so many great inventions in the world, uh, necessity has brought us here. Uh huh. Uh, apparently, the invention of potato chips. Okay, uh, go on. They were trying to make 
This looks fine, by the way. There, were, there, there was sort of a, this American chef in the late nineteenth, late nineteenth century, of of native uh, heritage, mm-hmm. provenance, uh, and uh, he was making. Uh, like he worked at a steakhouse and he's making fries, uh, and somebody sent back his fries and said they're too uh, they're too soggy and they're not salty enough. And he was like, "Well, fuck you too," and therefore like overcooked. Uh, oh, and he said they were too they were too they were too uh, they were too thick as well. So he oh, he cut them super thin, overcooked them, and oversalted them. They came out basically like potato chips, <laughs> and the guy was like, "He's a friggin' incredible," <laughs> and he's not wrong. He's yeah, not wrong. no, hundred percent. That made me want some potato chips. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, so here we are, the potato chip of the streaming world. Yep. OBS uh, on on M1 Mac. Uh, it looks it looks fine. The stream it looks, looks fine. fine. Everything okay. looks fine. My cores right. are fine. I don't know what's going on. Let's yeah, let's yeah. let's roll with it. Okay, we're gonna roll with it. I'm gonna get rid of this pc <laughs> well we still need to i still need to play hades on, on something so yeah no i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna keep it but uh i'm gonna look at it a little less fondly every day yeah the jerk. um yeah what a jerk uh tile component we were gonna put colors in here or type yeah. tile type uh yeah tile type uh what is this? should we just invent an entirely new scheme for this yeah let's do it because i think bringing this back to common will actually be nicer than the other way around yeah, okay. So what do we have? We have grass? Mm-hmm. We have... Mm, river? Water? Water, yeah. Mountain. Mountain. I believe we had forests as well, but then we actually added trees, so... Mm-hmm. Um, you, want, you want to add a fourth one? Yeah. Road. Jeez. Because I, I want water and mountain to slow you down, but road can speed you up. Uh, it's going to mess with their pathfinding, by the way. Oh shit! <laughs> Let's not even think about. It. I mean, maybe, maybe it only speeds tanks maybe, up. Maybe, yeah. Maybe, maybe not. Yeah. Maybe it's fine. Maybe, maybe the builder kind of just floats above the ground. Yeah, the builder. It's a hover builder. Or the builder just still takes the direct path regardless of the obstacles because it's dumb. Mm-hmm. Yep. Shouldn't send an AI to do we'll a job. We'll use plot to explain flaws in the programming. <laughs> isn't isn't that what all game plot actually is? Uh, it's true. <laughs> it's true. Uh, type. Tile type. Mm-hmm. And that's pretty much all we need. Mm-hmm. Tile. For uh, now. Component. I do want to. I do want to put entity type in there later, but we'll we'll do that. Yeah. Uh, speaking of plot covering up holes in the, in the program, you got me thinking about Horizon Zero Dawn so much. Okay, tell I, me about your thoughts. I no. I, I just remember loving it. I wish I could play it fresh again. I just really want to like. I like. I'm also considering playing it again, like you are. I'm just like, am I gonna am I gonna overdose on this this year? Like, there's a new one coming out. I'm having a really good time replaying it right. But now. But it's really good. Yeah. Yeah, especially the beginning parts. I remember how nervous I was playing that game. <laughs> like, I'm not good at video games. It takes me a long time to learn how to play a video game. Um, in that game in particular, there's a lot of mechanics, a mm-hmm. lot of buttons. Well, I remember uh, the, the giant saber tooth tigers, pretty scary. Uh, until they're not, way later, when you're, like, taking down T-Rexes. Yeah, the sawtooths, they rock me still. Mm-hmm. But what you do is you get the uh, the heavy strike that can just flip them over, and mm-hmm. then you just stab them in the belly, and uh, mm-hmm. the game becomes quite easy after that point. Mm-hmm. Um. But so, yeah, now I'm, like, super aggressive. I used to, like, stealth my way through the bandit camps. You know, I, I, I used to just, like, find a hillside and, like, sniper shot everybody. Nice. Now I just run in and beat the shit out of everybody with my, with my staff. Seems reasonable. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no fucks given. No. Uh, why don't I... I have a little template here I can just copy. Boom. There's almost some code generation that we could do to make these things. It's just that we don't make components frequently enough to, to merit the uh, the effort that we go into that. Yeah, and I think we've had a couple cases where you had to do something different on the clone. Yeah. That I don't. I don't feel a hundred percent confident. Ooh, right. I, I like source. Yeah. Making it more code, Jenny. Yeah. All right. 
This part, maybe I'm down to be cogen though. Yeah, it's it's pretty tedious. Mm-hmm. Uh, tiles, plural. Mm. I had a conversation recently with some uh, former colleagues about whether it your your table name should be uh, plural or singular in a relational database. Ooh. And since we're all like reformed Rails programmers, it's always plural. It's plural, yeah. Yeah. But grid pause is a real bad one. Grid pauses, I would just name my table grid positions. Like I, I would, I would make the database be more comfortably plural. Okay. Yeah. The the one advantage to having a singular table name is that your foreign keys and your table names will line up nicely, like user and user ID. Mm-hmm. There's a nice symmetry there, right? That is true. Rails really messed us up, huh? <laughs> Where it's like, we'll pluralize the word sheep for you. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and they have a whole friggin' like hundred thousand li- line library to do all of that. Yep. What do they call that again? There's a whole. Um, I forget, but but it's definitely it's there. Yeah. It's the, it's a thing. Because I've ha- I've had to add words to it occasionally. It's a magisterial piece of code. Magisterial was a good word. Yeah, it's it's breathtaking. <laughs> um, it, it, almost unbelievable to me that they added that in there just so that the code looks good. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. Well, I think it's because that and also everyone wanted, I mean, someone way back when was like, plural tables are correct and went out of their way to make sure that you could do that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it, it's not even over engineering. <laughs> yes, yeah, I would do it. <laughs> um, it. Maybe. I don't know. Like the whole the fact that there's like a whole dictionary included just for that specific <laughs> purpose. <laughs> oh, man. So funny. Uh, okay, uh, we, we need to actually do something with the tiles now. Mm-hmm. Uh, so first of all, um, in our is it update systems. Yep. Yep. We're on our init system. Uh, yeah. Uh, cool. They, they all have to be something, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, nice. Now let's take out that zero. Uh, here. I was thinking 31 to 33, or you want to keep that around. Okay. Oh, I see. Well, why don't we make these things? Mm-hmm. Is this what you're talking about? A little bit, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, that works. Wait, it, was it just... It was just happy to do one zeros through ones there, because it's an enum. Uh... That, okay, it's unreadable. I, I it's unreadable. Sa- I haven't saved yet. Oh, we'll okay. See. Okay. Um, and basically, we we want this to be fully populated, right? Mm-hmm. But let's let's throw some jazz riffs in there, perhaps. I'm um, with you. Let's make a little pretty little road here. And the road drives around uh, a mountain. Nice. Who needs a level editor? Well, we've got. We can just do it like this. <laughs> exactly. And then we need a little bit of water somewhere, right? Um, maybe this is all water. All right. So it's how, it's uh, it's line thirty one. It's just temp map. Uh, y times w plus x, yeah. Y times w plus x, yes. Sweet. And uh, and we still need to kill that because zero is grass. Oh right, and that's what this is. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so that's why this is a three three by four magenta square over there. So that looks right. And now it's a four by four magenta square. Boom. Okay, so the editor now needs to do something with that, right? Mm-hmm. And basically, let's export function uh, tile type color. Can we, can we make a tile system? Uh, we can in a second. Yeah. yeah. You basically want to... I feel like line 16 through what you're writing seems like tile system stuff to me. Yeah. 
Uh, yeah, I mean, even my grid position stuff is all jammed in here. I'm just editing one file for lack of wanting to... Oh, I like it, yeah. Um, actually, should this just be... A tile type to uh, VEC4 map? Uh, we could do a map. Yeah, I like that, actually. I'm trying, I'm trying to lean more map, because... Uh, yeah, I don't know. Forcing index signatures on objects is weird. Object dot properties. What? What is it again? Object dot. Um. Entries. There we go. I think it's this is what I would do, right? Mm -hmm. What was our, what were our colors again? We had such nice colors. <laughs> They're in there somewhere. They're in there somewhere. Here we go. Oh wow, they are really nice. Hey, look, that looks so familiar. <laughs> uh, and then this just needs to be. Tile type, mm -hmm. water, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then we've got one more, right? Mm -hmm. uh, what was road? Road. That'll be some kind of gray. Mm -hmm. Mm. Mm. It's complaining because oh, the object dot entries is not exclusively uh, the object from twenty six to thirty one needs to be typed as tile type entry because it's not uh, I don't know it could, it could have other values in it, right? This one does. I think so. Yeah. So, thought that was gonna be it. Type string, because object on entries returns a string. Is that what's going? On? Damn. Okay. Well, I don't. I don't need to be fancy. Um, we can just do it the old-fashioned way. <laughs> Do we want to take the brackets? That's not horrible, right? Uh, do we want to get rid of the brackets around the tile type? Because isn't that going to be... You're right. The, the input's an array, yeah. You're absolutely right. That's all just um, object notate, horrible object notation, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, I believe we've kind of restored order there, right? Mm -hmm. And now the editor can pull the color out of that. The color is... We need to clone here, don't we? Um, no. Clone what? The color is a constant. Um, oh, you're oh. absolutely right. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah. We, don't need, we, we, we do not need to clone. So does this color... Theoretically, could be we could make this immutable if we wanted to, can't we? Mm -hmm. Renderable I'm not going to fuck with it right now, but that, we should think about it. Yeah. I, I, I'd like to make this thing. Absolutely. Uh, you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fuck with it. We're going to fuck with it. Wait, 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 let's get it all rendering, then fuck with it. Okay. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm with you. Because it, it's, like, it's like one line away from showing those colors. Yeah. So we need to get the tile out of here. Mm -hmm. right? um, we got the position here. Now, uh, oh, we're going through models. Yeah, okay. T dot type, boom. Uh, 
Hmm. And now is tile type color not imported? Yeah. And then line 157. Oh, come on. Uh, dot get. Ah, oof. Woo. Oh, yeah. There it is. The gray and the, the ground here. The, the, the road maybe needs to be blacker. I was I was going to say grayer, but uh, but yeah. Okay. All right. Just for just for the sake of contrast, I will concede. Yeah, give, give us a nice like point six. Oop, I was wrong. Never mind. What if we went the other direction? Yeah, it's legible. Good. Yeah. Yeah, this is like a this is like a Richard Scary book road. It's very, very clear that it's a road. Uh I wanna draw some yellow lines down the middle of that, and we're gonna. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, so we have a significant amount of refactoring that we want to do here, right? Uh we would like to actually now have uh tile components, right? Mm-hmm. I don't know if there's a system yet. I'm gonna make a components folder. Okay. Um I guess I was thinking there. Um, yeah, maybe there's not a tile system. There is like a get tile renderable, and that can still be part of the component. Right. Yep. Yep. I'm with you. The sy systems are behaviors, mm -hmm. um, and when we invent st behaviors that have state with them, that's when we start to kind of couple them together. Yep, but no behaviors yet. Yeah. It's it's an uncomfortable, weird part about the way that we've designed this. Mm -hmm. I like it though. The idea of uh, file names that are all just the lower camel case of whatever we're talking about. So even the client editor would be lowercase c, capital E. Oh, I'm down with that. Because right now it's like it's capital if it if it only exports a class, and that's just too much thinking. Mm. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, and then yeah. I think we can tolerate that because uh, Rails does that, right? Rails has, or Ruby in general, has like camel case or, or snake case for all of, the, mm -hmm. all of the file names, right? Yeah. Yeah, totally. All right. Broke a bunch of stuff. Let's go fix it. Gone. Deleted. I beg to differ. <laughs> nice. Uh -huh. And let's. Uh -huh. Ta -da. Cool. Um, that was the first one. Uh, mm -hmm. Now I would, in principle, love to make these immutable vectors, so you can't modify them. Mm -hmm. But that's going to complain because mm -hmm. the renderable can't be assigned that. But we can change that. Oh gosh. I, I, yeah. All right, let's do that. And you want to do an immutable mat for as well, right above that? Might as well. Yeah, let's 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 immutize what we're doing. And the renderer doesn't seem to complain about that at all. I expected and more issues. Lines should do, do that too. Make them all. I feel like we were maybe already. Ooh, there you go. Uh oh, this just needs its own. It needs a new typing. Yeah. No, <laughs> Go put it in the D. No, it's fine. Uh, do we actually have a, a retyping of this? Because basically, mm. um, oh, because this, this is fine. This is GL, not WebGL. Yeah, this yeah, yeah. GL, yeah. This is GL, not GL matrix. Not GL matrix. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I think this is actually what we want. Because right? what this is looking for is a float thirty-two list. 
Yeah. Right. It, it wasn't a Vec4 anyway. Vec4 just matched. Okay. I'm yeah, it that. just happened to match that interface. Yeah. Um. Well, I see. I see some roots there. Yeah. Okay. Um. Back to state TV. Uh, should we move grid paws out as well? Now, while we're at it? Yeah. I just noticed that the FPS kind of dropped on here and realized that there was maybe some... I quit, I quit every other piece of software running on my computer. The, the stream is going between like 45 and 54 frames per second. It's only... You know what I think it is? I think these MacBook Airs, having experienced these a couple times, I think we hit the thermal limits of them when we do something oh, like this. I think, I think, we're, I think we're hitting the, the ramp up, and then since there's no fan, it's like... 20 or 30 minutes in, it's like, you know what? I'm going to tune you down again. Because this computer is actually hot now. So nope. I think that's it. That's a great hypothesis. Yeah. Um, time to buy a new one. <laughs> Are we just going to incrementally upgrade to the MacBook Pros now? Or the, It is the Pros, right? That uh, I mean, I'm going to see what comes out next week. Okay. Next week yeah. might be M1X territory. Yeah, you know, honestly, the resale value on these things is probably going to be pretty good, right? I'd be, I'd be down to, like, turn this around, lose $200 and get a new one, yeah. $300. Yeah. Someone needs a new computer. <laughs> but, yeah, I think, I think thermal envelope is my, is my guess on this. Um, yeah. yeah, that makes sense. Okay, so now that we have this, we want to actually be able to modify it. <laughs> now it's time for a system. Yeah. Um, okay, so that means we need a whole input system, right? Mm -hmm. I don't know if this is the right place for it. What's that? The in the editor? The input handling. Yeah. Uh, in a component? No, I don't think so. It's not a system either. Oh, oh yeah. I guess I was thinking in terms of our player input system in the past, but it doesn't have I mean, to be. It kind of we kind of like in the game. Well, let's um uh to in to the maybe game we do actually. Oh just, no, we don't. I was gonna say to put in a to oh, to think about systematizing it. The input system needs to generate messages and send them to the server, and that's its whole job. That's its whole job. Yeah. Uh, and, and then, and then every other system parses those messages for where doing, it is doing situated things. in the game is also a hint on where it probably should be. Right, <laughs> game calls simulate and and says, "Give me my input if this is the the client prediction phase." Mm -hmm. So it's almost a, a sibling of the game. Mm -hmm. Right. So what if I? <laughs> What if I figured out where I was? Where am I? Um, what if I copied all this? You're asking the hard questions over there, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who am I, man? Um, let's just call it input.ts at the top level. Just plop this all in there. How's that? Yeah, let's do it. All right. Um, okay. Uh, I don't think we need... Do we need input delay? No, let's punt on that here. Okay, we'll punt on input delay. Although, I, I don't know, I, I think we should have it just in case. Okay, I mean, it it worked. The three three or four frames we were doing didn't feel like anything. It wasn't horrible, yeah, no. yeah. Uh, okay, so maybe all of these we don't need, right? But WASD seems like maybe we want in the map editor. That seems like not a horrible thing to have. It's at least camera motion, yeah. Yeah. Uh, client game. What, what what do we actually need? We need a lot of stuff. So this is actually the editor, right? Mm -hmm. This is the what did we call it? Editor game. 
client, client editor. editor. Our names still aren't quite right. To me. No, they're, they're not still there. Still not quite right to me. Yeah. What these need? What these need are code names for our code name. Um. Yeah. I was thinking maybe of calling editor logic. The editor folder or the editor? Just oh, client editor logic ts. Editor uh, logic. Interesting. Yeah, mm -hmm. or, or client editor logic server editor logic. Is it the editor loop? Perhaps it does update. What else does it do? It has reference. It does. It it knows how to render ish. Mm. It. That's and it knows how, it has like access to the inputs as well. Gotcha, because yeah, the update update and renders do feel like loop operations to me, and just everything else supporting that. But mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, I, see, I feel you. Uh, do we need player ID? We kind of yes. Do so. This means the state DB needs some notion of the player ID, right? Um. What the hell is player ID versus player? Well, player well, ID is actually the entity ID. We don't need this. Yeah, well, we do need the player number. Uh, I think. Is that correct? Yes. Client we do. client at player number needs to keep coming client, through. And this is like this is the editor, right? Uh huh. And we have we have player number, but yeah, we don't need the player ID. Yeah, yeah. Uh, though though down the line, like what? maybe maybe we do want to show other users in the multiplayer editor. So someday. Yeah. But even still, they won't be deleted. So the editor is interesting in that we can start by synchronizing mm -hmm. the editor actually when we move the map around on the editor mm -hmm. or you move the camera on the editor that can be purely a local thing. It doesn't have to be mm -hmm. a synchronized thing. Mm -hmm. Yep. The thing the thing we're gonna want to synchronize is the like the attack or the the, the edits. The, edits, the actual yeah. like I clicked on the tile. Yep. Or it can even be uh, more abstract than clicking on the tile. It can be I created a tile on this frame. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I think I, the to philosophically hew to the game. I think we're saying we're we're sending stuff like key down. Like we're sending the barest input, and letting the systems handle the rest. Right, just for multiple players. Yeah, I, I think we're allowed to to, to to define whatever we want it yep. to be. Yep. Um, so maybe in here, moving around should just update the camera position, right? Mm hmm. And 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 I, I was gonna say that doesn't seem to require the client message for that. No, it doesn't. Mm -hmm. uh, what's a logical way of implementing this? Is when you when you when, let's say you're doing WASD uh, mm -hmm. in the map editor here, mm -hmm. uh, you're kind of moving the point that the camera is looking at, right? You can either think of it as moving the camera left or right, or you can think of it as like the camera's pointing at something on the map, and that point is moving around. Actually, that latter model is exactly what the game does, yep. right? Yep. Uh isn't isn't that what we're doing here too? Didn't we just point it at zero zero uh, in this setup? So okay, here's another question. Yeah. How should if let's say you're we probably want zoom in and out uh, for the the 3D editor, right? Uh, we want zooming zoom in and out with the mouse wheel. Um, how how should the the left right north south north south east west motion of the camera? change if you're zoomed in or zoomed out because mm. in the game if you're zoomed in that's really interesting right it still follows the dog it still follows the dog but if you're zoomed out you basically move the camera basically like moves the same amount in world space but probably if you're zoomed out in the editor you want the camera to move faster 
more. Yeah, yeah. you want it to move faster. It needs to should cover more world space mm-hmm. ground, right? <laughs> so it's almost more like screen pixels that you oh, want left and right to, that's, to, to like. That's really interesting, yeah. Yeah. Right, constant, constant screen pr- pixel movement gives you different speeds at different zooms. Hmm. Yeah. I'm, but that's a lot of, like, algebra. Yeah, and also, fast. like, I'm willing to punt on zooming on the editor for now, because... I don't know. There's not a lot of aiming you're doing. Yeah, okay. Not, so not sure why we have zooming in the game, except that it's really cool. We do need a notion of a camera, though, mm-hmm. right? Um, so, bef- last time we were like, oh, maybe we should just p- pull the camera over. I, I think I kind of agree. Mm-hmm. Um, so let's do that. Cool. Camera 3D now goes into common? I feel good about that, yeah. Is it just, is that all of game camera? Uh, what else is under there? Where's, uh... uh yep, yeah, I just dragged that whole folder. We'll add more, we'll add more cameras later. Maybe. Sure. Actually, I'm gonna just drag the file. The file? Yeah, do it. And if we want a folder, we'll add the folder. Lose the nesting. I love it. It didn't ask me to update the imports. Did it just work? It's a little scary. I think I might have just clicked yes, always update at some point, Mm. which is fine because it's what I want. It's exactly what you want, yeah. Yeah. Um, Okay. So that means we need to bring the camera into the editor, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, editor, client editor. And, uh, we don't really have a ca- camera, do we? Let's just add it. Oh, yeah, that's what, the one. we you just got it. we just pointed the we just pointed the render at a at a matrix, didn't we? Yeah. Correct. Yeah. Cool. Uh, they need the viewport dimensions for this. Oh, and wonderfully enough, we get the good news. It's almost like this was created to. Have a camera loaded into it. <laughs> it's true. Um, all right. Uh, set viewport dimensions. Oh, brilliant. Huh. Boom. Um, okay. And then get... So we basically need to initialize the camera here, right? Mm-hmm. Um, where do we set up the camera again? It's in start play, right? But there's no client specific version of all all clients ready, right? Um, Mm -hmm. There's no on all clients ready, is there? Oh, there is. There totally is. Um, All all the stuff we want is already there. Actually, yeah, let's just initialize the camera in the constructor. Okay. I think think that's totally fair. Um, So, what we do is this.camera set pause right mm-hmm. and the pause is gosh all of this so this is what this is really going to be is like this dot camera dot get w w world transform yeah you transform form out right mm-hmm. yep and we might as well fix the function below too to do fov from the camera yeah sweet and then what was the position again that I just deleted? Uh, is it yeah? Is it not in your copy buffer? Damn. Now we're gonna we're gonna need that. Ah. <laughs> we're not gonna need math, I don't think. Oh, that was for the FOV. Yeah, you're right. Um, this is vec three dot create. Uh-huh. I think it was at zero x. Uh-huh. I think it was like twelve y, and then there's three z something that sound, like that. That sounds right. Yeah, uh, from values. And then I think the target uh, is just the origin, right? Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. 
The input system is fine, but we're getting some issues. Cannot read from viewport dimensions of undefined. Uh, is it not? Are we not passing it in here? Uh, I would have thought the type checker would have complained. Yeah. No, it's right there. It is. Okay, I just had to reload. <laughs> uh, so wait, Go so is... figure. I, I was going to say, was the not doing anything yet? We haven't hooked it up. We have not updated the camera yet. Cool. Player input. If we're going to update the camera here mm -hmm. in the input uh, mm -hmm. thing. I mean, ha handle move input. I like it. I think all of this uh, handle move input, but it needs to have the camera, right? Mm -hmm. And what is a move update? Like, what is that? It's returning something that I think we don't care about anymore. Uh, yeah, it's basically void, right? Mm -hmm. We don't care about it for now. Yep. For sure. Yep. So what this is really is doing is what what are our direction move values? I forgot how this worked. Where's what does it put in there? It's just an enum, but I thought we set useful values. Yeah, I, th I think what we really want is just a velocity, mm -hmm. right? Because the velocity is just going to be some modifier on this, right? And, and theoretically, we should have like a delta in here as well. Mm -hmm. Which I think we need to thread all the way through. Uh, okay, I can we move this into a system? Because I feel like sending the message out of here kept this really clean. Uh, and then having a camera move system that just reads the direction message. I don't, I don't think it's a system, though, because it's not simulation relevant. Oh, right. Mm, yeah, okay. And messages are okay, yeah. stuff that we want to synchronize, and I don't think that the position of the camera needs to be synchronized yet. Yeah, all right, you got me there twice. Yeah. That's too bad. And the code that I'm writing now has to happen somewhere. It's the, maybe the third thing I would add on that. Um, yep. Like. Yeah, okay. No, I'm with you. I'm with you. I guess I'm, I'm wondering, I, I think the, the, the divergence from the game input is what is what strikes me, but actually, like, is pretty different. Yeah. Um... So I think we just need a velocity, mm -hmm. right? I, I think that's... Like the velocity here... Actually, it's just direction, and then we can... Mm -hmm. We can modify... Because the direction probably should be constant in a circular motion, right? Um, so, or rather, it should be radially constant. Mm -hmm. So, do we have like a mapping f of directions to like? That's what I was wondering. Yeah, I thought angles. we had a. I thought we had an angles. I mean, direction move might be an angle. We kind of do. Oh yeah, there we go. Hello. Wait, what are you looking at? Um. There we go. Nice. The, the direction is actually uh, math up pi over four. Does this rotation need to get negated? Is my question. Mm. Well, where do we where do we use this now? Uh, we use it for the two D. Um, I think we negate mm. the rotation before mm -hmm. we go to three D. I think that's right. Do we not? Uh, I forgot. Yeah, right. I forgot this applies to two D motion. So Coming game. Yeah. Get round rules. What the fuck? Yeah, we negate it. 
Oh, okay, I see. The video is... our orientation is in 2D. Whew. Your video, your video is lagging slightly behind me. That's interesting. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I don't think it's your fault. <laughs> it makes sense now when you were asking me those questions. Yeah. Okay, so your computer's just hot. I think that's what we decided, right? My computer is is one one hot beast over here. Yeah. Okay. Dumb problem. I can go get an ice pack. That'll solve the problem. That actually would. Do you, do you actually want to try that? I, yeah, I'm sure. Kind of like yeah, you, you want, name with science. You want to do this? What's the worst that happens? I'll be right back. I want, yeah, what is the worst that can happen? <laughs> we got 10 minutes. Whatever. Straight from my freezer, we got some ice packs. Okay, moisture is not going to be an issue. I'm going to I'm going to put a towel. Ah, oh, very smart. Yeah, yeah. I don't I don't want to necessarily condense directly into my computer, but <laughs> also you know the uh, what is it? Magnesium or aluminum? It's not permeable. It's just that there's little holes. Mm -hmm. Okay, no, just nice nice little ice bath for this thing. We'll we'll see how it does. Okay. And you have a temperature uh, display on your computer? Gosh, I wish I could switch this around. I'm just now fascinated by what's going to happen. Well, here's the fun thing is that we're doing my screen share, so we totally can do whatever I want. Oh. Um, but okay. I, but I can't see it. You can't see it. I'm looking at it. It says my... I see an on-die sensor of 146 degrees. It sounds warm. Uh, that's that's Fahrenheit, presumably. Fahrenheit. I, ho I hope so. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I'll check again shortly and tell you if it goes down. Okay. Oh, it's at it's now at 145. So. Oh. <laughs> Look, this system is water cooled now. All right. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. Um. For the for the in the interest of expedience, I'm going to use this wonky reverse orientation. Sweet. But what our velocity is. Const vel equals vec three to from values zero zero. I'm just gonna call it like five pixels per. Se How many pixels per second? Mm. Or tiles per second? Tiles. I like. I mean, let's do like yeah. Three seems right. I feel like that's been a pretty good um, motion for us so far. And then we're going to do vec3 to rotate y of vel vel negative direction because mm -hmm. direction is a number. Jeff, this is really stupid, but the video got better and my CPU cores have chilled out. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it stupid? Uh, we, this is this is exactly what we wanted, is it I, not? It's true. No, it, uh, it's it's stupid that I put some bricks of ice under my laptop to fix the problem. <laughs> um, gosh, this interface sucks. Mm -hmm. um, the origin of rotation. Um, zero three, and it's going to complain because it's not a move. Gosh, you bastard. <laughs> Um, in fact, three rotate Y. I think this, they call this origin. Mm -hmm. Love it. Oh, they just called it B. <laughs> All right. Well, B it is. If I'm not going to give it a fancy name, if they're not going to give it a fancy name, I won't give it a fancy name. <laughs> so there. Uh, and then we scale it 
Mm-hmm. By DT. Mm-hmm. And then we do uh, something weird, which is... I think we do camera dot get pause. Oh. oh, it just returns it to me. Sweet. Back three dot add. Pause, pause, fell. Yes. Oh, this hmm. is immutable. Oh, I see what I see. What's going on? That's here. how they get you. Look, look what we did That's, to ourselves. Look what we did to ourselves. Um, oh, that was re reasonably easy to to solve. Um, okay. And then uh, camera. Let's set pause. Oh, pause. Sweet. Right. And then we need to just delete all this crap. Yeah, yeah, let's get rid of it. It's just confusing us. Mm -hmm. We'll bring it back. It's leading later. us astray. Yeah. We'll, have, we'll have a different setup. Yes. Yeah. Rip. Need the first line. <laughs> oh. Yeah. I felt pretty good. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. It felt pretty good. Okay. Um, so I'm pressing it and it's not doing, you know what? It's I, not doing check. Cause we're not passing in DT, DT. Are we, I was going to say, do we even call this thing? Uh, <laughs> I think we were a function, shut but up. like, I, I don't think shut it's... up, Dom, <laughs> shut up. Um, there we go. <laughs> what do we call it? Uh, handle input. What do we, what if we even call this thing? I think we just exported updates still. Uh, let's call it handle in. What about what about uh, export star from this and then it's handle input dot update or input dot update from the from the import? Huh, okay. I guess we don't export anything else. Yeah. Uh, Key map. I like handle input. Okay. Handle input. Oh come on! Throw me a bone here, please. <laughs> What? what if I called it handle input? The file, even yeah, I think that's probably. Ah, there it is. There it is. Nice. This frame DT. Boom. Still not doing anything. Well, goddamn. <laughs> I agree, Dom. I agree. Um, well, uh, the frame apparently is not being used. I don't care about no frame. Uh, let's see. Uh, the keyboard is real. Are we actually using the camera for the renderer, or are we still using our funky transform? Good frickin' question. Uh, I think we're using the camera. Uh, we're using the camera. Oh, yeah, yep. Yeah, Why don't there. we use our fancy debugger? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now we're talking. Yeah. I can't believe the ice packs fixed this. This looks great. We're back up at, <laughs> we're back up at 60 FPS. It's fine. It's totally fine. <sighs> it's amazing. It's amazing. Oh, you know what? This is going to be complicated. Uh, how do I? Oh yeah. I gotta, how about I'm gonna unbreak point it? Break after the key down. Yeah. And I'm gonna hold it down. And this is just never breaking. Now, are do, we not? Do we call simulate? <laughs> we called it like the first frame. Did we? Doesn't do anything. Yeah. What's going on here? Is the server not telling us to advance? Hmm. What is the server doing? Yeah, because we never hit this again. See that? Oh, we called it the first time. You're right. Interesting. Um, Are we waiting for server right now? Is that what's going on? Yeah. Uh, is that because there's actually not a message getting sent back and forth? So after 10 frames, it's like, hey, client one hasn't sent me 10 frames. 
I think that might be right. Um, okay, so just so, some, somewhere in here, the multiplayer logic still lives. Okay, that's happening. Huh? And we oh, it's the simulator we care about, is it not? Stuck game on update. Uh, this client editor. This update. It's getting called. It's getting called. Huh? Consuming all the server messages. What's in server messages right now? Nothing. Okay. We tick the simulator. Uh huh. So it's frame update that we care about, right? And I get the feeling that that's never getting hit. We never, we never get one. Yeah. 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 And it's because we never send anything to the server to say the client is running past start. Oh, is the server waiting for us? I think the server. I think the server has stopped because like client one never sent messages for ten frames, and it like hangs out. Yeah, that, that's my guess. That is a good guess. Um, and I think the the player input server simulator yeah. is waiting for some kind of client message, right? Server simulator. Not this again. Wait. Oh, it's the engine. Yeah. Um, oh, we're gonna have to figure out how to fix this type uh -huh. problem. I think you can put a T on it. Uh, no, but that T needs to come from somewhere. Uh. Uh, which means that it needs to go up to the server server simulator. Simulator. Oh, So that that was the problem with the fix that we had last time. Gotcha. Fair enough. Uh, so we'll need to figure out a solution to that. Mm -hmm. uh, I think we might want to go back to what we had what we had okay. before. Yeah. Um, but it, I'm not going to worry about that right now. Um, but it sounds like what we need is on the server side. We need to actually send a a frame update. So. Uh... I don't think the server engine code needs to change. Can we find where we send any client messages on the editor? Because I don't think the editor sends... The server is expecting one frame message per client with all the input in it. Right now, we're sending zero. Is it is it the input message that, that uh, does it for us? It was, yeah. That, that's, that was the thing. The input message had, had move, attack, change weapon. And all of that was critical to... I mean, that, that was all the input that the game got from each client. Ooh, that's too, that's not generic enough. Damn. Damn you, engine. So this will need to get separated out. Yep, 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 yep. Ah, uh, that's too bad. But, so, okay. So let's just appease the gods here, yep. right? Um, Yeah, I think I think right after I was gonna say in the outer loop here. Oh, we're there. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah. you were say, you were saying oh in the game, yeah. No, 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 no. Um, I was gonna say in handle input, but um, over here. Yeah, yeah. Because we're gonna do this after all the functions. Uh, run. Editor uh -huh. plus client input delay, which boom. Might as well just add. Yep. Editor to player number. Move and attack update can be optional. They're gone. And change weapon is false. False. So now... There's frame update. Oh, wow, we're rotating. Huh. Do you, oh. Whoa. I like it's got it's got a little wiggle in there. I like it. It's unexpected, but it's fun. <laughs> uh okay. Uh what did I do? What the hell did I Let's do? Let's see. Uh we do we get a vec three, we rotate it, we scale it. Um, but then we just add the velocity. That seems right. Rotate wise. What, uh, 
what do we do in the the handle input? Because we send this direction over the wire. We send. Oh, we do it in two D space. Damn. Oh, you know what? It's because the because we're always pointing at. This is why the camera doesn't work. The three D camera class doesn't work. The three D camera works by having a position of the camera and a target that it's pointing at. Mm -hmm. So okay, let me just. Can we set target? Is that what we're doing yeah, wrong? Well, that's exactly what, oh, what it is. Great. Um, get target. Ah. Uh -huh. Target plus. Uh, get target right. Yep. Let's add it. And I'm going to do this the right way. Woo. Huh. Uh, I did it the wrong direction. Mm-hmm. Oops, get target, set target. Uh, this actually doesn't work this way. <laughs> Great. Oh. <laughs> Damn it. Okay. Yeah. Um values rotate. Scale by DT. Should we be scaling before we rotate? That doesn't matter. Oh, it does matter. Uh you're right, it doesn't matter. No, no, the, 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 that that should just be composition. Uh what the hell? Are we still are we still debugging? Can we break? I'm I'm really just curious what the velocity we're trying to add to this is and the target. Yeah. Okay. Um, the velocity that we get. Hmm. The y component is always going to be zero. That makes sense. Hmm. Um. Mm. I have a question. How is it? How is it rotating anything? Right, like we're only adding to x and y. Why does the camera view look like it's rotating to us? Okay. Uh, the way that this camera works is that there's a position of the camera. There's uh -huh. a target. Uh -huh. Oh, and we always aim at it. Uh, you always aim at it. Do we need to set? So the, if the position's not moving, then that's why it's rotating, right? Yep. Because yep. the target's moving. Do we need to set both? We do. I mean, that, that's basically what happens uh, in the game, right? Because the game in the in the We're, game, the camera oh, maintains it, it, a specific offset from the right. Position. It targets it targets the player position, and then we have the camera position that we actually we did the the elastic logic. If you do camera dot set pause pause as well, will we get? Yeah, so we, what we can do is we can say that um, this is T pause. Hmm. And C pause equals vec dot create. And we do vec3 dot copy C pause. T pause. Camera dot get pause. Hmm. And then we do vec3 dot add. Mm -hmm. uh, C pause, C pause, and whatever offset that we wanted, right? And the offset mm -hmm. was, I believe, 0 on the X, 12 on Y, 3 on Z, right? Uh, do camera yeah. dot set pause. I think, it was, I think it was negative 3 on Z for, for what it's worth. Um, sorry, does, does oh, it... Oh, wait, wait, wait. This is actually the... This is actually the um, it needs to be T pause. We need this to... is offset for, for T pause, yeah. Yeah. Uh 
Negative three, and that's then right. C pause. C pause. And uh... oh, it flipped. Cute. We've done it. Uh, that's interesting. What if is it this? I think we already just handled that sort of yeah. It's not. Uh, is is it three and not negative three? Did I make that up? That would be yes. the, that would be the flip. Yeah. Yeah, that would be the flip. Yep. Cute. Okay. Well, this is a decent amount of progress, is it not? I like it. Yeah. You want to turn that speed up to just like a billion, or more like I don't know, ten. A but. <laughs> I'll, I'll do a billion divided by 100 million. Yeah. Yeah, it, I, I figure we can do like hold the space bar down and like have it go twice as fast. Oh, I like it. Uh, is so is this? Uh, we can do like yeah. Uh, const multiplier. Mm hmm. Or we just const vel equals, let's say, uh, speed. Mm hmm. It was. Minus three, and then an if keyboard dot held keys dot has key map dot fast. What do you call this? Fast slide? What would you call this? Fast scroll? Fast scroll. I like fast scroll, yeah. And then fast scroll. Uh, MDN, what do you call these? Like key codes? Key, key code, yeah. But we gotta enjoy MDN while it's still uh, free to play. Yeah. They should probably just charge for all this, right? Is that is that basically what's gonna. That, that's what. I probably should have guessed. Wait, were you joking? That's, that's what they're doing, yeah. Oh, I thought. I, this whole thing? I, I thought it was um, oh, just like the premium content. I guess just the premium content, which like I don't want. Yeah, you're right. They they should they should charge more for the real thing. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, but Doc should be free. Um, I got it again. Yeah. Mm, uh, cannot decide the speed because it's a constant uh, TSR. Damn it! <laughs> it knows. It knows. Ooh, that looks zippy. Space the right space seems like it's prime real estate, right? Shift, <laughs> shift. Uh, shift is good, yeah. Because you need to shift into overdrive to get that. What fast if I move. just call this left shift? That uh, does that work? I'm gonna guess that it's L shift, but let's see. Yeah, I think you're right. It's not either of those. Why should I just shift? Oh, good. Might just be shift. Because, uh, yeah. yeah. Shift. As I say, left and right shift is, sh is sure a programmer thing, but like, I don't, know, I don't know if the browser ever finds out. <laughs> Does not like it? Did it reload? Oh, uh, you know what? It might did think. Did it reload? Well, key W. I was going to say, it's to think you're typing capital letters, but we're actually getting key codes, so. Who knows? Then this is gonna be. We have to solve this. Oh, I'm with you. All right, all right. What if shift is not a key code that we get? Oh, I'd be really sad. Uh huh. I mean, scroll lock is a fucking key code that we get. Yep. <laughs> wow! Wow! It's like I, I think it's actually not there. That's ridiculous. No. And eh, put it's it back very, to space. It's it's very upsetting. Yeah. Um. I, I, Next thing you know, Steve Jobs will be taking away your shift key. Mm, mm hmm. Hmm. Classic Dom VK shift. <laughs> that key code I've used so much in my career. Um. 
so funny. I think shift is not. Uh, is it that there's just another thing? Yeah, I was gonna say. So, uh, can you? Yeah, can you log held keys? I'm curious. Like, if we just if we're just putting out like the ASCII code instead or something. Oh wait, we can see it. Let's just debug and yeah. Well, it's hard to debug and get the actual input, so. It is hard. Uh-huh. Um, because these will be all uh, held keys. I see two. Meta left. Come on. Meta left, shift left. So we didn't try shift left yet. We did not. We tr- we tried everything in between. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh huh. Oh my god! Oh my god! Now wait, so if you go back to the FDN page, the word shift left just doesn't even appear on there. It oh, is. okay. Well, we are I in just, that. I just must have blown, blown past it. Yeah, we are in that one. Although, uh, in, fair, uh, yeah, we, we, in yeah. fairness, it was, it, was, it was easy to miss. Does it, does it have a meta as well? Because the meta also seems to count as well. Yeah, were well, you holding down the option key? I don't know. The, the, the alt, I'm sorry. Uh... It's the command key on Mac, apparently. Uh, oh, because you were holding a shift and you switched tabs. That that makes sense. We've learned a lot today, Dom. Yeah, I We've agree. learned that when Windows says it's going to update, yeah, it you, is a OS of its word. You damn well listen to it, yeah. Yeah. We learned that MDN's key code repository may or may not be going away behind a paywall mm-hmm. very soon. It'll just be the triumph of W3 schools, right? No, oh. God, what a, what a nightmare that would be. Uh, yeah, I'm intentionally going to W3. Is this ad supported? They do paid courses. I don't know what they do. This actually looks snazzier than before. They've hmm. cleaned up their, their their design considerably, and you can learn C plus plus here just because just because, you know. Oh, I see. I saw some C sharp. I see graph. We can learn graphics from here. Why are we going? Teach to MDM? me about responsive web design. Teach me about ASP. Oh, gosh. I, I'm sorry, what is Pandas? Uh, Pandas is like some machine Jewish learning library. crap, isn't it? Python. Oh, it's a Python library. For data manipulation, yeah. Uh, oh, you're on my stream, but hello. Oh, I thought you were done at nine. <laughs> nope. Bring her on, bring her on the stream. <laughs> it's a data manipulation library for, for Python. You're uh, welcome. Yes. Thanks. <laughs> Cor- correctly, yeah. Cat thought we were done by nine. <laughs> yeah. The left shift just well, you stumped know, us. We were just trying to recap what we learned, and I actually think the real answer is nothing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, funny. We were reminded that we're fools. Uh-huh. Hey, we we made a rectangle move around on a screen, just like old times. So it's not just a rectangle. <laughs> yeah, that's that's sixteen whole entities. It is a. It is rivers, it is mountains, it is grasslands. And roads. And it is potentially a road as well. Does this green look different than this green? Uh, it does. How is that possible? Are we, oh, we're rendering the terrain is lit. It's a lit model. This is unlit. Oh my god. Yeah, we, you know what we did? We took, our, we took our lovely green and then we just slapped some shade on it. We're like, you know what? Nah. And we didn't even draw the shadows. We should really draw Wait, shadows. Are they lit? Yeah, yeah. It's it's. I mean, I guess it's kind of lit. What what is lit about this? Our our lighting is that Besides it's like the whole game being lit. Oh, uh, <laughs> no! It's it's that our lighting is like the angle of whatever you hit changes the color, and like it's not it's not super smart. But there's but there's actually nothing in here that has vertex normals except for the terrain. Is that is that what I'm registering here? I think other things had vertex normals, but then we turned them into wire solids. Yeah. Okay. And our our dog is also lit. If you zoom in on it, like the lines should be shaded. I thought, yeah, the lines are shaded. Yeah, the lines are lit. I don't think they're shaded. They told oh, they told her. Look at the ear. The ear the ear changes as you go through it. Yeah, that's lit. I mean, it's subtle. I don't think it's shaded, man. You sure? Okay. Like like the the color white. It, um, it could be it could be the zoom the doing it to me, yeah. And the color white on the tail are definitely different angles. You don't really. you don't think the so I guess what I'm mm, 
You don't see the bottom of... So turn, turn your head more. <laughs> I don't know how it's being shaded. Yeah, okay, that's fair. Because uh, it's the wire solid shader that's doing it, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, there, are, there is a normal. Yeah, I thought I thought we colored the lines based on the normal, yeah, but like, we yeah, we do, yeah. It. Okay, the cube you can see it much more obviously. And right, they're very bright on along the top. And yeah. The side. Okay, so we're so we're so there's some some lighting going on. Some lighting. I think what that I think what's the silly. Other needs to get lit. I mean, it's also pretty lit, but let's put some lighting in it too. Okay. All right, we should stop the stream. Yeah, I'm going I'm to hit stop and, and download these two videos. Thanks a lot, Windows. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Fantastic. All right, see you, everybody.